There are many questions to the universe, especially some concerning asteroids. Are asteroids bringers of life or death or both? Could an asteroid end human and others' civilization? The Milky Way, home to billions of stars, rising and setting over billions of worlds, including our own. In this vast expanse, how did our Sun, the Earth and the planets come to be? In recent decades, our understanding of the solar system's evolution has greatly improved. But deep questions remain. To answer those questions, astronomers are preparing to visit someplace very small. Asteroid Bennu. A lump of rock and organic material, the early building blocks of the solar system of Earth, of us. Bennu is a time capsule, and its journey takes us way, way back. Four and a half billion years, the raw ingredients of Bennu and our solar system originated in a stellar nursery. A vast cloud of hydrogen, helium, and dust. Our own sun doesn't yet exist. Nearby are hot stars like this one, quickly burning up its fuel and destroying itself in a colossal explosion called a supernova. The explosion destabilizes our cloud, causing it to collapse. In the geologic blink of an eye, a hundred thousand years, gravity and angular momentum flatten the cloud into a swirling disk. In the center, where molecules crash together tightest, a protostar revs up to incredible pressures and temperatures. Deep within the disk, clumps of dust not much larger than a grain of wheat are flash heated into droplets of molten rock called chondros. The source of the heat remains a mystery. Chondros are destined to become the building blocks of the solar system. Coaxed by gravity and turbulence, the chondros clump. They grow into the first asteroids, into mountains, into planets. The asteroids are rubble piles of rock, metal, ice and organics. The large asteroid is the parent body of Bennu, a protoplanet whose size we can only guess. Closer to the protostar, a planet begins to form. And then, dawn in the solar system. The protostar undergoes fusion and ignites, revealing our sun. But the solar system is far from finished. Jupiter most likely forms near its outer edge. But just 500 million years after the sun ignites, some believe that it slowly moves inward. Its massive gravity ripples the asteroid belt, disrupting countless asteroids and comets, flinging them toward the sun. They rain down on the inner planets, hammering and remelting large portions of their crust. Did these impacts also deliver organics and water, key ingredients for life? Back in the asteroid belt, Bennu's parent body is lucky. It survives this period of heavy bombardment. The solar system cools and calms. Jupiter and its many moons assume the orbits that we see today. Billions of years of quiet follow. More or less. Then a billion years ago, one theory suggests a collision shatters the protoplanet. Some of the debris loosely forms into a new smaller body, Bidu. But Bennu will not stay in place. Dull, non-reflective, it slowly migrates towards the sun. Solar heating turns its warm side into a low-intensity thruster. Through millions of years, Bennu's orbit gradually tightens until it interacts with Saturn's gravity, altering its trajectory and hurling it into the inner solar system. 
close encounters with Earth and Venus follow. Their gravitational tugs may have repeatedly stretched and reformed Bennu, turning it inside out and pulling off loose material. As a result, it has no satellites of its own until Osiris Rex came. Today, NASA is sending a spacecraft called Osiris Rex to explore Bennu and retrieve a sample. Why? Bennu has survived its long journey and settled into a near-Earth orbit, bringing its secrets within our reach. Now it's ready to teach us more about the solar system history, its formation, its evolution, and our own place among the stars. Osiris Rex is a NASA mission to explore near-Earth asteroid Bennu, a remnant from the dawn of the solar system, and to return a sample of Bennu to Earth. On September 8, 2016, Osiris Rex began its journey to Bennu from Cape Canaveral, Florida, aboard an Atlas V rocket. It lifted off shortly before sunset, climbing eastward over the Atlantic Ocean to traverse the night side of Earth. One hour later, Osiris Rex separated from its Centaur upper stage rocket and drifted into space. It deployed its solar arrows to catch the rising sun and made a final pass over Australia before embarking on its outbound cruise to Bennu. After a year in orbit around the sun, Osiris Rex briefly returned to Earth in September 2017 for a gravity assist. The spacecraft passed within 18,000 kilometers of Antarctica then turned its instrument deck toward home to capture images and spectra of Earth and the Moon. The gravity assist bent the trajectory of Osiris Rex by 6 degrees, matching the orbital tilt of Bennu and sending the spacecraft on a path to catch its target. In August 2018, Osiris Rex began its approach phase. Its long-range camera captured the first visible light images of Bennu as a single pixel moving across a field of stars. Over the following months, Bennu grew from a pixel into a world with Osiris Rex, revealing its shape, rotation, and color for the first time. Now, after chasing its target for over two years, Osiris Rex is arriving at asteroid Bennu. On December 3rd, it fired its thrusters to match Bennu's velocity and began its preliminary survey. Osiris Rex passed high above the equator and the polos, measuring Bennu's position and mass and refining its size, shape and spin. On New Year's Eve, Osiris Rex ventured close enough to Bennu to be captured into orbit by its minuscule gravity, making in the smallest world over to be orbited by a spacecraft. Before it descends to the surface, the spacecraft will deploy its touch-and-go sample acquisition mechanism, or TAGSAM, a new technology invented for the mission. When it reaches the checkpoint, Zara's Rex will begin its final descent. It will pull back a solar array of safety and approach the surface of centimeters per second, the walking pace of an insect. As the TAGSAM touches down, it will blow high-pressure nitrogen gas into the soil, stirring up loose material. A filter within the sample head will trap rocks and dirt, while allowing the gas to escape to space. Once the sample is collected, Osiris Rex will fire its thrusters and back away from Bennu, retreating to a safe distance with its precious cargo. Following collection, Osiris Rex will verify the status of the sample using a camera called SAMCAM. This visual inspection will reveal whether any large debris is still attached to the sample head, which could pose a hazard during stowage. Next, Osiris Rex will verify the mass of the sample. It will fully extend its TAGSAM arm and perform a spin maneuver measuring the change in inertia to determine the sample's mass. If at least 60 grams have been collected and the sample head is clear of hazardous debris, 
mission planners will command the spacecraft to stow the sample.